Hi, my name is Emmeline DeLillo, and for my geometry design presentation, I will be discussing geometric shapes in works of art. The first work is called Modulli by Pablo Picasso. It was developed in between 1911 and 1912, painted in oil paint. Um, this is a perfect uh, example of analytic cubism. Um, Picasso painted this of his mistress, Marcel Humbert, whose nickname was Ma Jolie, and that means My Pretty Lady. Um, uh, it relies on a lot of abstract meaning and concepts. Uh, there are a lot of triangles, and um, like here, and also some not really shapely polygons. Uh, they don't really have names. This kind of seems like it might be the beginning of a hexagon, but it's not finished. Um, there is a lot of light and dark spots that draw your attention to different points in the painting, such as this triangle down here. It doesn't really completely form a triangle. But the way the line is headed, um, your brain actually will finish the triangle and make it seem like it actually is a complete triangle. The next work of art is called Girl with Mandolin, also by Pablo Picasso. This is another good example of an analytic cubist painting. It was painted in 1910 with oil paint and um, there are a lot of freehand polygons in it right here here this one um and not really any shape like a lot of them don't really have names because you know they're not common shapes um there's also plenty of unfinished shapes at the edge that the lines just kind of trail away on and there are even a few 3d like shapes um, such as her face seems to be um, a bit of a cube and this as well. Uh, that even looks like an open box, kind of. Um, and the mandolin. Uh, this doesn't really have a shape name. I guess a teardrop, but it's not really a specific shape. Um, it looks really cool anyway. Um, the next shape, uh, the next shape, the next work of art is called Abstract, Untitled Abstraction by Albert Swindon. It was painted in 1945. The material is gouache on paper. Um, there is a lot of use of triangles here. This one is blocked out. There's that one as well. And here, here. Um, and also plenty of circles and some squares here and here. Um, and a few trapezoids. Although, since the painting is a rough sort of quality, none of them are really proportionate. So, this kind of has a rough line here. These circles aren't really circles. The triangles are also a little wavy. And, um, you know, even the outside frame of the painting isn't perfect. Uh, so it's got a rough sort of quality, but you're brain will, can still recognize them as the shapes that they are. Um, uh, even these two triangles here and these two here with the two trapezoids make up um, a really cool looking hexagon. And this, you know, it's not really three dimensional, but it looks like it could be a cylinder. Um, and then the next work of art is called Eye Candy Number no. 3 by Bruce gray. It's mainly use of circles that kind of make up a sort of bubble pattern. Um, paint, uh, it's not painted, it's pen, ink, and markers. And uh, a lot of the circles actually cut up the other circles into different shapes like this right here and that here. Um, also, there are a few lines um, that make up like a pentagon, five-lined pentagon. And um, a triangle here as well. And together they also, the triangle and the pentagon make up 
a different bigger pentagon um and they cut up the pieces as well um, making interesting shapes like this that don't really have names either um that's the end of my presentation